What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Liz back with another reaction video. And you know what guys? It's October. So you know what that means. Well, I missed a day. But anyway, I'm going to be trying to upload scary content every day. Um, hopefully for the whole entire month of October, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I've got three channels, guys, and I haven't been able to dedicate enough time to each one of them. So especially this one and also my fitness channel. So thank you guys so much. Um, we're going into the spicy horror channel again, because I, for some reason, I'm just loving this channel. This one is top four scary paranormal videos people will avoid. Now let's get into it. 1,000 likes, but why? A normal man who calls himself a dude discovered that the place he works at is haunted. You never heard this story like a 100,000 times before, but this guy is different because the place is not the problem in his case. It's the man himself. At work, the cabinet's doors are moving ever so slightly, just like my channel's growth to give you a clearer idea. Then at home, he hears voices that sounds like a little girl. And I thought it's part of the paranormal activity until I realized the man is married and turns out that the closet door was opening by itself while I was still processing how comes that the man is married. <laughs> It's not gonna do it now that I'm video recording. Jimmy Yo, get them. So it's happening again. Some crazy paranormal thing going on. around there's no freaking strings what is he gonna tell his boss when he finds out that he left work early oh I was scared here is my TikTok account if you want the proof if I was his boss I tell him that I'm even more scared to keep you in this company Do you remember the Paranormies? If you follow this channel, you know I have a dark history with them. And today is the day where one of them got possessed. Yes, folks, after playing with the demon for all this time, the demon couldn't stay virgin anymore and followed one of them, which caused the man to go spend some time on his grandma's RV. What a lame excuse for being scared. And here is what happened. While the man was laying on the bed with his Lolo Katie comfy blanket on, the bathroom's door started doing some shenanigans. And as a brave man, he went to check, but the toilet was flushed. Then some balls of steel started shaking, and I'm not talking about anyone here, but literally some steel balls hanging were shaking. Jordy then left his grandma's vehicle back to his Owen house, and when he came back, his dog started tripping. Like in you calm the fuck down. I'm already losing my mind. Then the door spell belling, if that's even a word, but he wasn't done there, taking a look at the mirror to see the weather, I assume and one tall, dark, and handsome is behind, lurking on him. Jordy gathered what left of his manliness and left that funky dog in the house. And by the end, <laughs> Jordy called some poltergeist expert to start her experiments on him, and she didn't disappoint. After she started her session, things were going insanely nuts, and my laptop was shaking for some reason, but I was making my coffee so I didn't know what happened. And when I replayed the video, it was already too late. I forgot the sugar, but then I realized I don't even drink coffee. And Jordy was literally going vibration mode. Take a look. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but I've been hearing that all night. I can barely get to sleep. And that's the first time that's ever happened. I've never heard anything like that at home, ever. Yeah. Hopefully it's stopped now. Hello.
sound the sound effects are creepy. <laughs> Who is that? She's killing me. <laughs> She's a little spoiled. Hello? Who are you? Why are you following me? Grandma's RV is haunted. <laughs> Who are you? Anybody in there? My dog, Zeus, he was acting so unusual. He was just afraid at things that weren't even there. He was just like staring at something that was, it, it was clearly right in front of him that he was obviously freaked out by, but I, I couldn't see anything there. He was very interested in something and also cowering at something that was right in front of him. And I was watching, it was happening right in front of me. And that's what led me to start recording because I felt that whatever was following me around was definitely in the room at that moment and I wanted to capture it if I could. I don't know what to do anymore. Hello? Why are you following me? Who are you? Wow. Who are you? Fuck. Fuck. Shit, I'm so fucked. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Okay, you're cold? Mm-hmm. Where are you? So are you good? You wanna transport now? Am I good? Yeah. I, okay, keep going. I want you to get to a state of, yeah, yeah, keep going. Can't hold you there. It's not gonna hold you there. You're so strong. I just wanted to say you no longer need this. I no longer need this. Mm. Nope. I no longer need this. I no longer need this. I no longer need this. I asked for the book. 
You have well, no control. Stop. No, I have no control. You have no control over me. All wishes to you, man. I mean, those guys are so legit one of them got possessed. Like what more does a viewer want? You got to subscribe to them if you haven't yet, and I know the introduction to the clip was long, but I do what I want. Too homosexual, I mean too cute couple. I mean two guys sleeping beside each other's in one room. And they are not brothers, they have a CCTV camera installed in their room for some reason. And while one of them was half naked to turn on the other, who also got half naked at some point in the video, a ghost went right into the room, he was trying to be, you know, one of them. He entered from the door very gently and barely moved it. He tried to play some American football, but the guys are Asian. And when nothing worked, the ghost got right down to business. He grabbed the sleepy guy's leg, and if he didn't wake up at the right time, we could have seen this video in some adult website. But when the two folks were discussing what happened, the ghost took a seat and they took their way out of the place. Ahí fue, mira. ¿Sí ¿Cómo se movió eso? Se cayó, levantó vuelo. Ajá. Se movió esa vaina ahí. Ah, yo estaba en la casa de mi amigo. Es que. Y ahí, él no se dio cuenta que se, que se cayó un papelito. Es que mi amigo instaló cámaras en la casa por los ladrones y por toda la vaina que no tiene nada que apuntan a la calle. Pero esa es la que está en la habitación. Ahí el man sale. A lo que pasa ahí. Sí, no. Sí, pues me hubieran botado algo para él. Ajá. Sí. Ajá. Y ahí, ahí el man. Entra. Uh -huh. Con un vaso de agua, no se levanta a tomar. Levanta la vaina. No, tú pues, se imaginas al final. Al final está. Él cierra la puerta. Y se va a volver a acostar a dormir. Mi mamá dice que es porque yo me la paso jugando y que por invocar no invoca las cosas y toda la vaina. ¿Era eso, Mariela? No. Yo no sabía que las palabras tienen poder. Y todas las mire, palabras que. Mire, mire, mire. Ay, sí, sí, abrió eh, la puerta. Échelo, échelo. Ahí es que se mueve. Ya se movió. Ya mira, se mira, 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 mira. ¿Qué, ¿Qué piensa de eso, Luis, usted? No, mire. Mire, él ahí se va a levantar y ahí es que viene lo peor. ¿Y eso qué es? Una bola. ¿Una bola de qué? No sé qué sea eso. ¿no? La y vea lo que me van a hacer a mí, como me jalan las patas. Mira, ¿Pero qué? Ya ahí estaba durmiendo, ya era más tardecito todavía. Deje de, de que vean mi video y ahorita le digo algo. En la casa del Carmen también todos nos asustaban por eso. En la casa del Carmen me asustaban más todavía. Vea, vea. Ay, hijo de puta, lo tomaron. Ay, Dios mío. Oh. ¿Sí vio? Mira, eh, no, no. Carmen le tocaron las cuerdas de una guitarra. En el Carmen me asustaban peor. Le tocaron las cuerdas de una guitarra. Se dice como. Y eso que haya, ¿qué es? Una bola, yo no sé qué lanzaron. Ahí va la silla. Va la silla. I wonder what are they supposed to be doing there. I mean, I have seen so many clips where there are people sleeping in a room like this one, but I still don't know what is their purpose in life. I even got copyright claim for one of them. The guy in the next clip went on a date to this very place before, and things got horribly wrong for him. So what did he do this time? He took his friend instead. The place is basically an old abandoned farm, with a big fat ass barn in the middle, where our guy likes to take his preys to. So while the investigator started exploring his prey, let's call him Bob. So Bobby was flirting the man, telling him how he watched his investigation and felt scared, and how strong his heart is and how he looks at his pictures to feel safe when he is alone. 
and it goes on and on. Elle even had to lower the volume in case the flirting elevates to something else, and when one of the wooden poles was about to destroy the investigator's face when some unnatural power pulled it, Bob was so afraid if something happened to his friend he was yelling at him out of love. Later on he started proposing to him by exercising some pull-ups on the same pole. It was so disgusting one of the bushes walked away. Then Bob doubled down on the proposing and followed that bush, just to win the Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Romantic Dramatic Horror Movie when his legs got injured mysteriously. But when rock started falling from the ceiling, I knew it was game on. يا رب انت الحامي دير بالك انت احمي ظهري علينا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما شو مالك يا موقعت على راسك شو اللي قاعد بيصير في هذا المكان على راسك لا تجي عندها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ترى كمان ثقيل مش سهل عد شوي ليه ما فغر راسك يا زلمه هاي بتعرف لو طاحت على راسك تمسيني يا زلمه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شفته شفته كيف تحرك طيب ما في حد برا نهائيا نهائيا ما في حد برا ما تشعبط عليها هسه الاخوان تشعبط عليها كثير ثقيله مستحيل تتحرك ثقيله بشكل مو عادي ولا تزحزحت شوي تزحزحت بس ثقيل كثير ترى الخشبه ما رحيت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا من شيطان رجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كيف هيك؟ بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شو هذا؟ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله كيف هيك؟ ايش ناس يا زلمه؟ الوضع مش عادي نهائيا الوضع مش عادي نهائيا يا رفاقة الخير حجر بو قاعد قاعد وما في حدا ما في حدا يعني لازم على حدا يزته لحاله قاعد بو قاعد ورب الوضع مش عادي بالمرة وربي بسم الله مالك ليش تبشني ليش تتحرك أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم كيف تتحرك ما في حدا اقعد هسه اقعد هون اقعد هون اقعد هون طول بالك اقعد هون اقعد هون تمام بس هاي امبارح دعست عليها امبارح كنت بمغامره ما في حدا انه يحركها اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم هدي هدي حالك طول بالك خلص انت انصبت خليك خليك قاعد هون اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق شو اللي قاعد بيصير قدامنا؟ هاي العصايه مالك؟ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم There were some details that I had to remove from my version of the video because the main investigator flirted back with him when he had to take him to the car after the injury. And he talked about how heavy he is. What kind of stupid description is this? If you want to help on fixing this, subscribe for more of it. Wow. Okay. That was crazy. So, I don't know what you guys thought about that video. 
Um, it was more creepy than scary. I think the worst one for me was seeing the man in the bed get, um, get his legs lifted up. And I'll say that um, I know how creepy that is because something similar happened to me like, oh my gosh, many, many years ago in an apartment that was definitely haunted. I have a lot of stories about that one. Um, I'm probably gonna, after this video, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. Um, I'm definitely gonna record the story about that. And I think I still have a picture of some of the orbs that my dog at the time was barking at because in that particular apartment for sure, my dog used to bark at the air. He used to bark at corners of the wall. He used to bark all over the place and it was just very, very negative energy in that house. So that's what that reminded me of, like the weird things that happen and you know, you're sleeping. So when you move or adjust your body, you're not really aware of what's going on until you literally feel like there's someone holding onto your ankles and pulling, pulling you. So anyway, yes, that was the creepiest one for me. Um, the other one was the man in the camper. I felt bad for him because, so he's an investigator. So you have to know that when you're dealing with spirits of any kind, um, eventually it will catch up to you. Eventually it will affect you. And you know, it affects your home, it affects your family. If you know, if you live with people, it affects everyone around you. So, you know, I hope he gets it together. It looks like he was um, seeking help. I'm sorry, she's just very needy right now. Um, <clears throat> it looked like, <clears throat> excuse me, it looked like he was seeking help. It looked like um, maybe someone was trying to help him you know, remove this, you know, remove the, whatever evil spirit was with him or following him. I hope it works out. So I'm probably gonna look up his channel and see, you know, what's going on. It looked like there was a to be continued. So maybe there'll be a new video. Um, thank you, Spicy Hara, for, <laughs> for these creepy videos. Um, gives us something to look at and get scared of. So um, thank you guys so much. There is a Nukes Top 5 video. I know it's probably like a week old, but I may do it. They're probably gonna come out with a new video tomorrow. So, but anyway, again, this is October. So I'm gonna try to upload some creepy content for you guys. Um, hopefully every day, that is the goal. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you at the next one.